Hello everyone, welcome to CC's Fashion is my passion YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I am CC, and for those of you that are returning viewers and subscribers, welcome on back. Well, you guys, today's video is not a fashion haul. It's not a swimsuit haul, and it's not a lingerie haul. It actually is, as you saw by the title, it is a Mary Kay product review video. Now, one of my Facebook friends that I've been friends with on Facebook for a while, she sells Mary Kay. She's a Mary Kay consultant. So she sent me some items and she asked me to do a video and give a review about the products that she was going to send me. Now, the disclaimer in this video is that I have not tried everything that she sent over, but I did try some of the product products and I was very, very pleased with what she sent over. So, for those of you that are not familiar with Mary Kay, and by now you should be, because Mary Kay has been around for umpteen years. You know, she's the lady with the pink Cadillac, and she has had a multi-millionaire business. And in fact, my mother, many years ago, used to be a Mary Kay consultant. So I'm very, very familiar with Mary Kay and have always liked their products. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys what my girlfriend, Netta, sent over to me. And I'm gonna leave in the description of this video all of her information. So if you are a woman or man who loves Mary Kay products, you can get in touch with her via email or phone number or the website and buy some products from her. Okay, so you guys know that I'm all about building and supporting and especially supporting the woman, okay, who is doing her own thing and has her own business. All right, you guys, so we're gonna jump right into this video and I'm gonna show you guys the products that was sent over to me, okay? All right, so I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so we're gonna start out first with skincare. Now, you guys saw my video on last week when I did the makeup tutorial with Denise Wilson and I talked to you guys about taking care of your skin and how important it is that we as women or men, if you wear makeup, that you wash your makeup, that you really, really cleanse your skin, okay? Because as we know, as we're getting older, our skin changes. And when we don't wash the makeup off or just the, the, uh, the, the day off from all the dust and things that fly in our face, uh, even though we're wearing masks, those masks, the mask can break your face out too. I got a bump pimple over here now. Um, so mask, uh, the mask that you're wearing, the face coverings that you're wearing over your face to protect you from um, breathing in um, the COVID virus or the flu virus or the common cold or anything, we know that those masks can break your face out, okay? So, with that being said, it is important that we do what? That we take care of our skin. And why should we take care of our skin? We should take care of our skin because our skin is the largest organ in our body. And a lot of people don't know this, that the skin is the largest organ, but it is. And so it is very important that you take care of your skin. Then not only do you wash your face morning and at night, but you also cleanse your skin and that you moisturize your skin, okay? So the first thing people see when they see you is what? Your skin. And most of us have had acne over the years from our teenage years, our young adult years, and now we're going into menopause, midlife, age, middle age, and our skin is steadily changing. So it's so imperative that you take care of your skin, okay? That's for the, my ladies and for the fellas, all right? So this is the first product that I'm gonna show you that she sent over to me. This is an oil-free uh, eye makeup remover. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you are in the industry where you have to wear makeup for TV or if you just a guy who likes to wear makeup, I don't know. You must take off the eye makeup, okay? Um, we know that when we don't remove the lashes, the eyeshadow, the eyeliner, 
But sometimes you can set up some type of infection, which is called conjunctivitis, which is the common pink eye, okay? So please make sure that you remove your eye makeup. Don't go to bed with your eye makeup on, okay? Because you will get some type of eye infection. All right, so I'm gonna take this out the box and I'm going to show you what it looks like, okay? So, this is, it comes in this box and this is the Mary Kay. She's hiding from you, Christopher. She's right here. Um, over here, my mom's house and her, her <laughs> the cat is hiding from him. It's hilarious. So this is the all free, um, what did I say this was? I got this right. All free eye makeup remover, okay? So how the directions on this is um, dry to oily skin, suitable for sensitive skin, fragrance, fragrance free, which is good. So it doesn't have anything in it, nothing that will break your skin out if you have sensitive skin like myself. Um, it is all free. It's suitable for contact lens wearers. Okay, which that is good. It's an all-free eye makeup remover. It is a unique two-phase product that gently removes even waterproof eye makeup without rubbing, pulling, or hugging. The directions is that you shake until blended, apply a small amount to a cotton ball, or pad, cotton pad, I like to use cotton pads. Gently wipe away all traces of eye makeup. And it says, in warning, in case of eye irritation, discontinue use, keep out, uh, out of reach of children, okay? So let's just open this and see. How does, okay, so here is, so you just squeeze it on a cotton pad or a cotton ball, okay? And then you take your makeup off. So I'm definitely gonna be using this because I normally, um, if I wear eyeshadow or the eyelashes and I have the um, the uh, residue or the remnants from the eyelash glue, I typically use Vaseline with shea butter. But sometimes it does not get all of that off. So using an eye makeup remover is really good for getting all of the eye makeup off, okay? So that's the first product. So definitely, uh, I'm really happy that she sent this over to me because I will be getting some use out of this, okay? So that's the first product, which is the All Free Eye Makeup Remover, okay? And I'll have everything listed in the description of this video, along with her information. So if you wanna try any of these products out, just go right on over to the Mary Kay website and click on them and, and you know get you some products. I don't know how much these products are, but listen, when it comes to your skin, you can't be cheap, okay? We just can't be cheap with the skin. Gotta take care of our skin. All right, so the next thing that uh, was sent over to me was this, um, it's called McCellular Water. Now, I may be pronouncing this wrong, okay? But let's take this out the box. So, what does this do? The micellular water from dry to oily skin directions apply a small amount to cotton ball or cotton pad gently rub the cotton pad over your face repeat the process until cotton shows no trace of makeup or impurities so what you do with this is <clears throat> When, after you have washed your face, okay, after you've gotten all the makeup off of your face, you're then going to rub this, put this on a cotton ball or a cotton pad, and you're gonna rub it all across your face to get all of the makeup out of your pores. Now, how many times have you washed your face, ladies, and you see the makeup, 
And then the next morning, you when you get up, you wash your face and you still see makeup on the towel. That means that you did not get all of that makeup off of your face that you thought you did. So with this product, this goes a little deeper into the skin and a little deeper into those pores, which is removing and lifting all of that base makeup or, or um, concealer or whatever you wear on your face. It's lifting all of that up out of your pores. And the reason why we have pimples and we have breakouts, because we really don't get all of that makeup off of our skin and out of the pores. Because when your pores are clogged, what do they do? They create pimples, okay? So this is a really good product for those of us that wear makeup every day. It's not enough just to wash your face. You have to use something else as a way of getting it all out of the skin. And I do believe that a lot of women probably would not suffer from what I call it, I call it uh, foundation or makeup acne if we were really cleansing it the way that we should. So first, what are you gonna do? You're gonna wash your face with whatever soap that you wash. Hopefully it's Cetaphil, okay? Cause that's what I showed you guys last week that I used. After you wash your face with the Cetaphil soap, then you wanna go and put this on to make sure that you are lifting all of the residue or the impurities from that all day being out in the elements that you're getting all of that out of your skin with this product. So definitely a 10 for this one because I need this myself, okay? All right, so we're gonna move on to the next item. The third thing in the skincare line that she sent me was a mask. Now, how many of you all mask? I am guilty. I do not mask the way that I should. However, my mother, my sister, and my niece, they mask all the time. And I am, all, I, well, I'm gonna tell you this. Back in the day, I used to mask and I stopped and I need to go back and I need to make that a part of my skincare routine because mask also pulls out all of that that's up under the skin that you think you have washed away. So when you mask, it makes your, your, your skin tone um, even. It pulls out all of the dirt. It, it sheds away and peels off all of that dry, knit, that dry skin. It, your skin looks so much better when you mask, okay? So this is a mask. I'm gonna open this to show you what it look like. looks like. It's right here and it's pink. Okay, so that's what it looks it looked like. And you all know that when you mask, you know, it, it, you put it all on your face and it gets real hard like you are, um, what's the word I should look for? For those of you all that are not familiar with mask, it makes sure it, it gets real hard like clay. And after it sets and it gets really hard and it's on your face to the point that you can't move your lips or move your face, that's when you know it's time to wash it off. But you're supposed to let the mask set um, maybe five minutes or less, I don't know. Um, let's see, what does this say? This will tell us. To use, apply an even layer over clean skin. That's another thing you wanna make sure you wash your face. Wash your face, don't put this on top of uh, a face that has not been washed. You wanna make sure your face is clean, okay? Um, leave on skin for 10 minutes. Okay, so I was close, I said five minutes. Leave on skin for 10 minutes, rinse thoroughly with warm water and pat dry. Use one to two times per week. And I'm gonna tell you this, if you mask the way that they say that you should, the directions on the box, 
and leaving it on your face for 10 minutes, you will see a difference in your skin. You will be glowing. Your skin will look bright, brighter. You won't have all of the uh, uneven skin tones in your face. You have, as we get older, we have to take better, better care of our skin because you can't help what's gonna happen as you age. It's just gonna happen. But what we can do, we can slow the process of aging down, but we can look good as we're aging. We gotta use the right products that is going to enhance our skin. Putting on makeup is not enough. You have to do skin care treatments for the skin, okay? So after you do that, it says use one to two times per week, follow with your preferred moisturizer. So whatever moisturizer you use, which you guys know, I showed you all in last week's video, I use the Cetaphil soap and I use Cetaphil moisturizer. I even use the Cetaphil cleanser as well. Um, avoid use in eye and mouth areas. Okay, that's, that's uh, 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 a given, self-explanatory. So again, mask. So you're gonna leave this on for 10 minutes, okay? Each time you do it, and you're gonna use this one to two times per week. So let's just say your mask day is on Sunday, okay? So you do this on Sunday, and then let's just say you do it again on Thursday, okay? So there you go, you got your two times a week, or you can do it on Monday, and you can do it on Sunday. Or you could, you know, Monday at the beginning of the week and then Sunday at the end of the week or either Monday, Saturday, something like that. But just make sure you do it one to two times a week. All right, let's move on. Okay, so now that we've gotten the skin care products out of the way, which is imperative and important, we are gonna go in and we are gonna talk about the lips. Oh yes, okay. Still. So, she sent over, um, get it. She sent over some lippies because she knows that I love lipstick. So this first lipstick is, um, intuitive. It's like a lip balm but it looks like a lipstick. And I'm just gonna pull it up. It's in the color purple. Can you see that? That's pretty. So this is, this is. I don't think this is a lipstick. I think this is a lip balm. And then here on the back of it. So I need some glasses. I can't read that. It's way, way too little. Um, but it just comes up like this. Okay. That's a very, very pretty color. And I think anybody can wear this shade of color. Whatever your skin tone is, whether you're my skin tone, if you're lighter, or even if you are darker, that's really pretty. I want to put it on my hand. Let's see. Okay, so that's what it looks like up here. That's the mask there. So it definitely is some kind of, I don't think it's a lipstick, it's more of a lip balm. And it comes out in this purple color right here. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Um, let's see if I can get, wipe this off and give you a better view. Hold on one second. this off so you can see what the other color looks like okay hold on okay all right 
Sorry about that. All right, I should have had a paper towel here. Um, I did, I have some napkins here, but I don't wanna open them because they're not open. Okay, so let's put this right here. So you see what that looks like. That's really pretty. But like I said, it's more like an, uh, it's not really a lipstick, it's more like a lip balm, okay? So that is what it's gonna look like. That's really pretty. So it's like a plum purplish look, okay? Next thing um, that she sent, Oh, I know why, okay. So, I have this on, okay? This is the color that I have on, and it's a lip gloss. It's kind of like a reddish lip gloss. Let's put it on. You all know I love lipsticks and lip glosses. That's a pretty color. That's pretty. So if you are a lady, a guy, and you don't really wanna wear lipstick, but you want your lips to look pretty and want them to look moist, this is a pretty color. So this is almost like a reddish color, but it's got a little red in it. It's got like a little pink and some fuchsia. And that's what it looks like, look like. And it matches the uh, rose color blush that I have on. Just a little bit more. And it goes on really smooth and it smells really good too. It smells almost like, um, like a candy, like a, kind of like a peachy type of candy. Um, I love it. Now listen, I know we are still in a pandemic. Y'all see how y'all see how I put a lot off. I love this. I wear a lot. I'll put a little bit more on. I like I got big lips, but I like my lips to look shiny and glossy. I like a lot, as you can tell. Okay. That's pretty. Now I know I put on a lot. You may not like to use a lot of lip gloss or lipsticks. I do. I like my lips to be popping, okay? Now listen. What I was going to say is, I know we are still technically in a pandemic. And in most places, we are still wearing masks, right? So it's really important now that you make sure your lips are really moist and moisturized and not dry. Because those masks dry your lips out. This is the, the, a trick to wearing a mask. You wear a N95 paper mask with lip gloss like this on, it doesn't wipe so much of it away, but even if it does, your lips are not all dry on the side or crusty if you wear a, a lip gloss, a moisturized lip gloss. Now, maybe you don't wanna want, wear one that has this much um, product in it, but at least put Put, even put this on like some type of uh, some type of lip balm. You gotta keep your lips moist now with wearing these masks. And I know right now we're having this controversy about now not wearing masks. Before it, you know, it was the I don't want to get vaccinated. Now it's I don't want to wear a mask. Every day is something. It changes. Me personally, I'm gonna wear my mask. I'm gonna wear my mask 
up into spring and summer after the flu and cold season has declined. I am fully vaccinated and boosted and I've had COVID, I told you all twice. So mm -mm, y'all won't see me without no mask. I'm gonna have mine on. You see me out in the street and you don't wear your mask, that's on you. But CC, I'm gonna have on my mask, okay? All right, so going on to, uh, got three more uh, products to show you. So now here is um, Christopher, come get your cat. Um, here is another one called the Unlimited Lip Gloss. I'm sorry, you all. Come get her. She had it from you. She was trying to jump up there. I don't know what she was doing. She's trying to jump up here. Up there on the counter. Okay, so here is the Unlimited Lip Gloss. Okay, so this is another lip gloss. This is another pretty, pretty color. Just take her down in the basement. Or take her upstairs. Either take one. Upstairs. Okay, take her upstairs. So this is a pretty um, lip gloss. It's like a burgundy. We all got cats. Y'all see the cat over my house? It's a cat over here. My niece got a cat. I got, a, I got two. My mama got one. We all got cats. But this is really, really pretty. So I'm going to put a little bit... Look at that. That is pretty. So they're not lip sticks, but they're lip glosses. Okay. So now that this on top was this one. Okay. And then you got this one. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. All right. So I'm not going to put that one on because I have this one on. But I definitely know that that would look good with my skin tone. So I will be rocking this color. I love burgundy colors, the grape. I love all of that. That's pretty, very pretty. The last uh, lip gloss that she sent over is this one. You all, I can't read the names on these boxes because it's so little. Is this a lip gloss? Oh, I'm sorry. This is a uh, mascara, black mascara. So let's see how this goes. Look at that. And you see the feet on the mascara. So, you know, it you, you ladies, when you put your mascara on, I have on false lashes, but if you were putting mascara on, you always want to start from the outer part of the eye, which is the long part and work your way inward, all the way over, and all the way to the corner. And you just wanna go ever so slightly. Same way with this side. You dip it in, and you wanna go this way. From, you wanna start here, and work your way. Okay? So again, I got on false eyelashes, but I'm just, I'm just tapping the lashes. And you can put mascara on false eyelashes if you want them to stand up a certain type of way, okay? You can do that. You can put mascara on before you apply your false eyelashes. You can also take mascara and do the bottom part of your lashes, okay? So I love mascara. And this is, I call, I love black. When I do wear mascara, when I don't wear false eyelashes, I wear black 
is black mascara. The blacker, the better. I want my mascara to be black, okay? Um, I do wear colored mascaras too. I've wore purple uh, mascara, which is really pretty, but my favorite is cl the classic black mascara. Okay, so that is this product. The last products that she sent to me were, um, oh wait, no, this is the, uh, okay, I'm getting confused. So this box here, this box is this. She sent over three perfumes. They were all, they're all different um, scents. And the first one, is called Live Fearful, Fe Live Fearlessly, Live Fearlessly. So I'm gonna put this one on, comes like this. I like a lot of per perfume too, as you can see. Bring it here. I love that. It's very soft. It's not overpowering. So this is a scent that you could wear to work or um, wear if you were going to church and you didn't want it to be like, woof, you know what I mean? Where it would just overpower somebody. It's very, very light and it smells really good. Yes. So when you put on your perfume, how do you put your perfume on? Do you do what I did here and here? Do you put it behind the ear? Do you spray it here at the nape of the neck? Okay. Never, ever, ever put a perfume or cologne on your clothing. You always put it on your skin. Okay. You don't have to put it directly. You can spray it a far, far away and just let it fall. But I never put perfume on my clothes. Now, I have seen some people who do that. They, you know, they put perfume, um, they spray it on their clothes and, and their skin. I just put mine on my skin. But however way you want to do it, I, I personally don't think you should put it on your clothes because sometimes perfume will leave stains on your clothes. But I love, and I don't know if you guys are like this, but I love when I have put on my perfume and then I put on my scarf or my jacket and then I take my, my scarf off later and I still smell the remnants of my perfume. I love that, okay? So the second one, which I'm not gonna spray it, the second one is called Dream Fearlessly. And I smelled this one, and this one also has a very uh, soft, gentle smell, okay? And the last one, this one is called Love Fearlessly. I, first of all, I love the names. Love, love the names. So these came in three in a set, came in a box, like this. Um, I believe this is a sample box. So if you bought them, they probably would come individually and they probably have bigger sizes than these, okay? Um, I don't know what the, what the sizes are of these, but I do think, if I'm not mistaken, I think Mary Kay has it where you can buy a set of these like this. It might come a little bit bigger, but I'm not sure of the pricing, but I have seen something like this on their website, or you can buy them individually, but I love them. Yes, I love them. And I love, I love, 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 love perfume. And I love a man who loves cologne. It ain't nothing like hugging a man and then you walk away and his cologne is on your clothes. What? I love a good smelling man. Mm -hmm. I really, really do. 
And the last thing she sent was a little sample of satin body lotion. So you could just, you know, they probably give you a sample. You know, I, I these I love because um, I pop these in my purse or my bag. If you're a person who goes to the gym and after you get out the shower at the gym or whatever, and you want to, you know, um, oh, you all know what? This is not, this is, this is Mary Kay Sat Sat Body Shower Gel. It's not a lotion. Okay, so same thing. You're a person who go to the gym, and that's how it looks in my hand. And you know, you somewhere at work, or just from the gym, and you want to wash up real quick. You take your little thing of body um, shower gel, body shower gel, and just wash up with this. Okay. This smells good too. What is this? I don't know what kind it is. Oh, it's satin body shea wash. Okay, that's it. So it's got some kind of shea butter in it. Um, I'm not sure if you can buy them like this, but it's always good to have lotion, body lotion. And a little thing of shower gel because you never know if you need to <clears throat> if you need to be somewhere and you gotta wash up for whatever reason. You know, um that's another thing. As we get older, we need to carry us a little cure package around with us because you know our bladders don't operate the way they used to, and you might eat something and you know, you might have to you know, take care of your business. And then you might want to just wash up before returning to the table or what have you. I'm just saying, you never know. So, you guys, that concludes this Mary Kay product review video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. Thank you so much, Netta, for sending over these products to me to try um, for giving me an opportunity to show the products on CC's Fashion is My Passion and I hope that you will get some sales from people reviewing this video. For those of you that like Mary Kay, love Mary Kay been rocking and rolling with Mary Kay for years, you have a new consultant. If you've been looking for somebody to buy Mary Kay from, this is the young lady that you need to get with to get you some Mary Kay products. All right, you guys, thank you all so much for once again allowing me to come into your living room while I'm in my living room to talk to you and to watch another CC's Fashion Is My Passion YouTube video. God bless you. Have an awesome weekend, and I'll see you where? In the next CC's Fashion Is My Passion YouTube video. God bless you. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.